Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to the Bindon Tractor Fest. And we are live on Facebook, as you know. The weather has turned a little bit greyer, but people are still piling in. Everything's going fantastic here. Everyone's friendly, jolly, having a lovely time. And we've moved round and we're going to look at dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, dogs. We've, we've seen horses this morning. We've seen chainsaws. Do check those out. We're going to have a look at some dogs. So let me just change my camera angle there because, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to James and Hannah from Rebel Ritzy Gun Dogs. Hello, guys. Hello, Hi. how are you doing? Nice to see you. Now, uh, gun dogs. Let me just think about gun dogs because <laughs> you don't just deal in specific the gun dog isn't a specific breed is it there's lots of different dogs that do gun no. dog. is that right yeah i mean the gun dog breeds are the most popular breeds in the uk uh, the labrador retriever being the most common gun dog breed okay uh, very popular but all the other breeds are becoming more and more popular so cocker spaniels in particular the hunt point retrieve breeds that, that were five ten years ago unheard of they're really coming to the forefront now. Um, we've got little Ziva with us, that's uh, Hannah's dog. Uh, she's a Hungarian Vizsla, she's two. They're becoming more and more popular. Um, but people, unfortunately, don't understand that they're designed for a particular job. Right. And their nose is what gets them into trouble. Okay. Same with any dog, it doesn't just have to be a gun dog. Any dog is governed by their nose, and the more the more freedom they're given early on, the more trouble they'll get themselves into because their confidence gets built up. They get more and more confident and their nose really for a dog is, we can't even make machines that are as good as these right. dogs' noses. Yes. Which is why we see diabetic alert dogs, medical detection dogs, oh, detecting right. cancer. Drugs. Drugs. Police dogs. Police dogs. Um, we haven't tapped into just how good a dog's nose is. So right. for us in the gun dog world, they're they're the best. They're so tell superb. me, tell me, tell me then about the, the gun dog world as such. You, you're training them to retrieve yeah. things. What what sort of things would you traditionally be retrieving? Well, we start off from dummies. Um, you can, I mean, they can pick up anything, and the idea is they pick it up and bring it to you and give it to you, and then you work up. If you want to work your dog, then it would be a gun dog, working gun dog. It goes out onto pheasant, partridge, duck, some of them goose. Um, you can do all sorts, but you don't have to do that. You can just do it as something that's fun with your dog. Right, so yeah. you can have your ordinary pet that yeah. you can train. Now, uh, I know a lady who has a... Um, uh, Oh, I was said it earlier. A, uh, Dachshund. a Dachshund. Thank Dachshund. you. Yeah, long-haired Dachshund. And now, little Daxi, lovely little dog. You throw the ball, it'll grab it, but it won't give it back. And it'll yeah. shake it. And it'll shake it. Absolutely. And it, you know, it doesn't want to do that. And why, what's going on there? So the Daxi, it's becoming an incredibly popular yeah. breed now. Um, we're seeing more and more of them, especially the wire hair versions. Yeah. Traditionally, they're a hunting dog. They're a ratting dog. Uh, they're small, compact. Uh, very very feisty but they're designed to kill that's right. that's what we've wanted them for yes society's changing yes but the dna of the dog and what they're bred and designed for doesn't change so the you get the shake which is then clamping down and killing prey conversely with the gun dogs we don't want that aspect of them so all dogs designed to survive they're social predators so we're harnessing that chase, catch, kill, eat, which is going back to the wolf. We're harnessing that and saying, well, tell you what, don't chase it. Just sit there, watch it run, I'll kill it. Then you go and get it for me. Then if it's still alive, I'll kill it. Yeah. And I know you want to eat it, but mm, I'm going to eat it because it and tastes great with roast potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and somehow the dog will respect that. Absolutely. It won't just go, well, I've, I want, I've, I've picked it up, I want to eat it. Some dogs do, right? and that is a primal instinct. Okay. And, and that's the thing is, we're working with dogs, you can't reason with a dog. No. But through play, through training, 
through repetition. It's building your relationship with yeah. the dog. Yes. Yeah, yes. so you make a partnership, yeah. isn't it? And it, yeah. it's saying to the dog, if you do this for me, I'll love you for it. Yes. And I'll reward you for it. And rewards doesn't have to just be food. It can be fuss, it can be a cuddle. Um, some dogs aren't interested in a, a reward. They just want to be there and do it. Um, but they all like a little tickle behind so their do ear. You think? do you think all dogs uh, and dog owners should really have some training on their dogs? It's, you know, people take dogs and they, they might make them jump about a bit or something, but it's a very vague sort it's of... It's so beneficial to the relationship with the yeah. dog. Yeah, it's it, fantastic. It solves so many issues. Yeah. But the, the downside that we find, uh, I, I'm a behaviourist as well as a gun dog trainer, so the thing we find is that it's not just about, I've done my six week puppy course, that's it, I don't need to train my dog anymore. Right. You're training your dog from the moment you bring it home to the moment, sadly, we lose our dogs. Yes. Every day the dog's learning. Yes. And if you're prepared to learn as well, they'll teach you a lot as well. And they presumably, they, they enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, they thrive on it. Yeah. And, and it's the brain stuff that's really good for them. Oh really? Yeah, whereas uh, people think, oh, if I run it for two hours, yeah. it'll be tired and then it gets fitter yeah. and fitter. And then so it, yeah. stimulation is really important. So um, we, we all know that physical stimulation is important. Yes. But mental stimulation is far more important. And do you so think people are ignorant about that? Absolutely. About dogs? Yeah. We get a dog and a quick way to tire it out is throw a ball. Right. That's gun dog training. Yeah. Just keep throwing a ball. That's a retrieve. But actually a dog will come back and go right give me more so they can sort of solve problems training will solve a lot of problems yeah. some need specialist training especially when we work with aggressive dogs but for a lot of dogs just giving them mental stimulation training can resolve a lot of issues so tell us tell us about what you what you guys do yourselves at rebel uh, ritzy so Rebel Ritzy Gun Dogs is just part of what we do. The other part is come see through dog behaviour and training. Say that again slowly. Come see through. C-W-N-S-A-E-T-H-U. It's Welsh for shooting dogs. Um, I've been training dogs since I was a youngster. Um, we're very much a family business. Both our children are involved with the training as well, which is great. But behaviour and training go together really, really well. Right. So um, I've spent a, a long time learning over the past 20 plus years of uh, agility. Uh, I've done working trials um, with tracking, searching, and it's all about stimulation with the dog, mental so you, stimulation. So you, you welcome people. Absolutely. You, you have clients and they bring their dogs and, and together you train them. Yeah, it? we teach people how to train their dogs. Right. And if it's an activity we don't do yes so for example we don't do agility at the moment then we can recommend people right okay where to go. now we've been cutting we've been cutting to various dogs and we've got some lovely dogs just lined up um, on the ground here next to me which um, I'm hoping our cameraman is going to show us again in a second they're just over here and these are some of your clients and friends yeah. absolutely and all our clients become friends very quickly yeah, I bet they do yeah. because um, a dog like brings people family. together doesn't yeah, it yeah it's a big family <laughs> okay. and we're all in it for the enjoyment that our dogs give us yes absolutely. and that's the big thing there's no shortcuts with dog training it's all to do with um, patience being consistent and having fun with your dog that's why we all get dogs we all get dogs for enjoyment and fun and and yeah and, and they're, su they're such good companions aren't they you know i was listening to um, something on the radio and they were saying dogs are so much nicer than humans because you can give them the same present at christmas and they're just as excited about having you know another ball oh wow it's oh, just you, you know i had a ball morning. last year but it doesn't matter I'm you can do that in the morning and yeah. in the afternoon and in they'll the still afternoon, love it they... but that's really important because if you think of it pets is therapy yeah. dogs um, they're taken into hospitals, they're taken into schools, they're taken into care homes because it's a proven fact that dogs lower our cholesterol level, right. they lower our stress levels. So for ill people, it can be a real comfort. And some of the stories you read, we've got clients that have gone on to, with their dogs to become pets as therapy dogs, um, which is fantastic. Anything you can do with your dog is beneficial to you, yeah. beneficial to your dog. Uh, and to society at large, I'm guessing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It creates a massive bond, doesn't it? I mean, you know, bonds aren't just yeah. made, are they? You know, 
you you build it and build it and keep building it. So the the, the bond with a dog, um, we all hear the story of one man and his dog. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. Because it is. It's just they bring a sense of enjoyment, a sense of fun. But you must you must also see. I mean, at a show like this, there's a lot of people bringing their dogs, and you must see a lot of people who perhaps could really do with their dogs having a bit of training absolutely yeah. and, and again if we can't help we can always you find can always someone recommend. that can help Fantastic. Um, but I mean the classes as well people enjoy it becomes like a hobby yes. you know and then, they enjoy, a social and then socially yeah. they yeah. make friends as well isn't it and the absolutely. dogs and it's, yeah. yeah, it's a nice thing, isn't it? It's good. Um, and I mean, you do, or we both do one to one, so they meet us individually and have lessons, and we can do things together. Where do they? Where do, Where do people watching get in touch with you? If they're so interested? you can go to our website www.rebelritzygundogs.com. Ritzy is spelt just so. R e b e l r i t s i. Yeah. Um, whether you're wanting a pet dog trained purely to be a pet. You've got a gun dog breed that you want to do some pet training with. There's no pressure on anyone with a gun dog to get their dog into the field. Right. But if they want to, they we can. can help you. Well, I hope. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say because we do the kennel club good citizen. Yeah, kennel club good citizen well scheme as well. Yeah. So it's not just about gun dogs. Fantastic. We can help with most things. Brilliant. Well, it's been a joy to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you Thank ever you so much. much. It's been good. great. Yeah. Well, that's it. There's not so long to go, but do come down if you're not already here. And if you are, do come along to Rebel Ritzy and, and talk about dogs. Thank you very much, dogs. You've been mm -hmm. so good sitting there doing your thing. They're all so lovely. And they're all so lovely. So there we are. Wonderful. I have to admit, Thank I do so have much. a favourite. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back somewhere other place here at the Tractor Fest a little bit later on going live but from us here it's been an absolute joy the dogs have been sensational to look at so do join us again and in the meantime have a good rest of the day thank you and for the moment goodbye <laughs>